Hello YouTube. So here we are again in the mountains. We're going to be heading out from our camping adventure today. It's been a good day. A little bit of rain, but all together quite nice in Alberta. So we're going to do some stuff to this truck. We're going to put a lift in it. We're going to change the tires and the wheels. are going to go to 18 inch wheels. There's 20 inch wheels on here right now. They have the stock 255-75R20 tires on them. And it's a good truck. We put some extra weight on the roof with uh, some Thule aero bars on it. We have a Thule hideaway awning, which is awesome. We had to put a couple uh, ski straps on it to keep it from vibrating when we uh, drive on off-road trails. And we've got a eye camper on the top, which is uh, transitioned over from our Land Rover. So far, so good. It still rides really smooth. These Sequoias are amazing. They're like off-road race cars, it seems like. On the gravel, they just soak it up. Not a ton of clearance, though, especially compared to our Land Rover Discovery 2 that was lifted two inches and had some 32 inch tires. That was pretty good. You don't, we still haven't hit anything. You know, we're being a little more conscious of our ground clearance when we, uh, when we off-road quickly, you know, but that's what it looks like. Ground clearance check, including dog. Not a ton of ground clearance, but some enough maybe for most things. The stock skid plate on the Toyota is actually pretty good. Solid steel, got some recovery points. We've pulled some friends with those already. Seem to be pretty good. See the eye camper with the bugs. And I'm going to show you the ski strap set up here. We put some ski straps on here just to keep it a little bit more solid, but it's solid now. It doesn't vibrate at all when we're driving, which is great. And we drove in from this little inlet road right here to give you an idea of a stock Sequoia capability. Would handle this like nothing, you know, pretty smooth actually. That trail would handle it, but would it fit through those trees? This is where a Jeep, a 4Runner, a Land Rover, those are going to fit through there. You're not going to be as worried. Here it's wider. Not worried about doing any panel damage. So we're going to uh, update you with another video after we get... We're doing a ready lift three inch SST lift. We're, we're actually got some Tundra wheels that uh, I'm refinishing. And we're gonna put some Cooper Discoverer STs in a size of 275-70R18. And we're also gonna put some inch and a half spacers on. Kind of for look, kind of for maybe handling. I've had some good things from that in the past. We'll see. It's all an experiment. And we're going to take this guy out with us camping. Okay, we'll see you at the update. Ciao. Okay, so we have the Toyota Sequoia lift kit. It's the uh, ready lift, three inch front, two inch rear SST lift kit. And it's a 6.9-50-15. This is the box it comes in. It's actually like really, really well packaged. I like to see how they package things just because it's uh Kind of an indication of the quality level, but you get a really nice set of instructions here. 
with the like, picture diagrams of how to go through every step, which is really quite nice. Good attention to detail there. And then look at this piece that comes up. Like, how well is that package? That's awesome. <laughs> Anyways, geeking out over that a bit. But you can see you've got really nice, really nice hardware. You've got this, the uh, strut extenders. The ready lift kit. You've got the rear spacers. These look like really nice quality solid piece there that is cool and then the other thing we're going to be putting on is some wheel spacers to give us a little bit flared out less likelihood of touching our tires we got four of these and those look really nice too this is uh from dat wheel spacer kit five by 150 14 by 1.5 uh, and yeah got these right from Toyota I just went there and they ordered them for me so let you see how this looks when it all goes on it's going on tonight actually sorry not tonight we're taking the vehicle tonight to get done tomorrow exciting These are the finished tire and rim combination. So we've got some 275 70R18 LT tires. They are Cooper Discovery ST Maxes. It's the same tires we had in our Land Rover Discovery 2 that was lifted. And we found them to be very good tires. They were quiet and very durable. We drove off-road in them a lot and they were seemed quite good. Um, so we've got the same setup here and all together seems good. This is the truck with the lift. You can see we've got quite a bit more ground clearance than we did before. You can actually get under the car, which is, which is cool. Can't really see too much underneath the, uh, underneath the, uh, springs there, but it is looking pretty good. What else do we have? You can see the spacer up top, and that is the ready lift kit. All together, pretty sweet setup so far. We'll see some uh, action video of what it looks like when it's in motion and how it feels versus the other setup which all together seems pretty good it was uh initially set up by a local shop to get the uh, wheels and tires put on they had set up with 46 psi when we first got it and we dropped it down to about the stock is 30 30 front 32 rear and i think right now we're running 38 front 40 rear which made it uh a little bit smoother and uh you know totally totally fine we're gonna end up seeing what those tire pressures get changed to later on but we'll uh we'll let you know how that goes until then Oh! <gasps> 